What is up, guys? Welcome to another Tonics Tuesday. And first of all, I want to apologize about the uh, kind of extended break that we've had here. I've had a couple of health issues, got the clean bill of health though, so we are good to go. I'm good to be getting back to work. And really, not a moment too soon. I think there are three or four new Pentatonix songs uh, and videos, you know, from their newest album. So I am really excited for this. And we might as well start with the first single, which is going to be Prayers for This World. Now, I have heard nothing from this album yet. So as far as long as they keep putting out new videos, I cannot wait to see kind of what their new sound is. Not necessarily if they're gonna have a new sound, but Pentatonix is always evolving in their like musical sound. So it's been quite a while too, since we've had another album or at least, you know, more like music videos. Like we've essentially been like about a year. A lot of things have happened. I mean, Kirsty had a baby. I wanna say like two other members of Pentatonix have gotten married, so. It'll be uh, um, uh, it'll be exciting to see exactly how they sound and if it is any different or if they are in more of like a new direction. I'm pumped. So thank you guys so so much for watching. And let's go ahead and check it out. These are hard times in these times. Feels like the world's about to capsize. Feels like it might take a miracle to make it out alive. The clock is ticking. What do we do? Is someone listening? Help us through. for this world. Bring peace to its doors. Bring home to its shores. God, Mitch and Scott's voice just complement each other so well. Especially when Scott's doing this, just like, oh, real passionate. Oh, passionate kind of singing. Oh, oh. I mean, I've heard Scott go raspy before, but that was... Like something completely different. Cause when you look how it's going on, you just wanna run it out. Only like inside the darkness, only luck in MIA. We gotta get us some love and light. So love can light the way. God, it's almost like a like a rougher pentatonics, and I mean that in only the most positive ways. God, what got into Scott, man? Bring winter, it sails, it's gone off the rails. 
Oh my god. Oh, that was so beautiful. Wow. What a great first single. Like, this was phenomenal. And I don't know what new ability Scott unlocked over the last, like, year, but I am here for it, and I cannot wait to hear more of it. This was just a great ensemble piece. I mean, really, everybody got their chance to shine uh, front and center, except for, you know, Kevin, for obvious reasons. But with, like, Kirstie's fries there in the middle and Scott's... I don't even know what you would call that. It was like, I don't know, like a like a darker, edgier pentatonics, at least just from this number, and a holiday song, no less. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comments, uh, especially if you disagree with me, because I always love reading those, but... Yeah, this was very interesting. And Matt's solo as well was really, really gorgeous. But it was, you know, that, you know, incredible tone that we know him for. Meanwhile, Kirstie and Scott, that was something very different. Very different. For Kirstie, I'm thinking maybe it's possible, like, giving birth or pregnancy does something to vocal cords. That I, I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, for Scott, I have no idea. He spent a year working on some kinds of things. And that introduction too, like that intro with Mitch and Scott was just so beautiful. And then just throughout the rest of the arrangement, just Mitch's like almost ethereal harmonies going on in the background there. Oh, they just added that extra level of depth. It was so so good. And I, I could definitely see this being like their big, hey, we're back, you know, single, because it is the first one in, I'm gonna say a year since Evergreen, which was last winter time. And really for that kind of a song, and just one of these pentatonics arrangements, it was perfect. This was amazing. What a great one to come back to. I cannot wait to hear more. Uh, I did see that they covered uh, Last Christmas by Wham! on this new album, which is, in my opinion, the greatest Christmas song that has ever been written. So hopefully we get a video for that soon so I can check that out. But just so you know, it's an incredibly high bar for me for anybody covering that song, and there have been a lot. But... We'll cross that bridge when we hopefully come to it. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll catch you all in another Tonics Tuesday very soon.